Away from politics, but still in the court, the chief judge of the Federal High Court of Nigeria, Justice John Soho, has rejected the request uh, made by the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdi Kanu, for Justice Binta Yako to recuse herself from his trial. Justice Soho returned Namdi Kanu's case file to Justice Binta Yako to handle, saying two other judges were previously recused from the case. The chief judge stated that Mr. Kanu's case was reassigned to Justice Nyako as far back as 2015. And since then, she had handled the case for the most part and was deemed the most suitable judge to see through to its conclusion. But the chief judge directed that if at the next hearing of the case, Mr. Kanu still insists on, rec on Justice Nyako's recusal, he must first write a file a written notice on written motion on notice with an affidavit stating all the grounds for requesting her recusal. Mr. Kanu must also serve it on the prosecution and appear before Justice Nyako for her review and determination and then she can make her decision. Ms. Kanu's counsel, Aloy Ejimako, confirmed this development to TVC News. In other reports now, the Commissioner of Police in the FCT Command has visited flashpoints in the Buari Area Council. Olatunji Disu says he is developing a new policing strategy for the nation's capital. Sifon Essien reports. The Commissioner of Police in the FCT hits the ground running with a visit to flashpoint in the Buari Area Council. The Area Council is one of six local councils in the nation's capital that grapples with security challenges. Kidnapping for ransom assumed a worrisome dimension at the beginning of the year, forcing residents of affected neighborhoods to relocate from their homes. Meeting with my tactical commanders, my operations officers, and um, some areas kept on coming up again and again. And I felt it would be good to go there physically and see it. Uh, you see, everywhere we have visited are uh, of very important um, uh, importance to the state, to the nation in general. Uh, I've gone around, I've seen deployment, I've seen deployment of even our sister agencies as well. And then um, it's of importance to know that presently we are, I can say I'm at the border of um, uh, Abuja and um, Kaduna State. The mountainous terrain presents a challenge to security agents. This is a very big area, vast landmarks. And um, you can see the eels everywhere. So these are typical areas for this kind of crimes we are talking about, kidnapping, robberies, and for especially for these bandits that come around. I've seen the deployment, I've spoken with the DPO. I will, just like I mentioned to him some few minutes ago, we'll be deploying technology to assist us. We'll be flying drones, uh, the drone team will be coming around to see it. We'll be taking coordinates of important areas so that officers who have not been here before can get instruction from us and move to areas quickly. Uh, we are going to deploy some other strategies, one or two of them I may not want to say publicly. Buari Area Council holds strategic educational institutions placing enormous responsibility on security agencies. Build that police post in front of the university because we really need the police to be close to ensure security in the place. <laughs> While the Commissioner of Police and his team prepare to implement a new strategy, residents are eager for improved security. Sifon Essien, TVC News, Abuja. And the Nigerian Army says it will not relent in its fight against insecurity to guarantee safety of citizens across the country. The Commander of Training and Doctrine Command of the Nigerian Army, Major General Kelvin Aligbe, spoke at a cocktail event to honor candidates of the captain to major promotion examination in Akure Undo State's capital. Anodeji Moradeo has more. The event provided military officers an opportunity to reflect on their journey, having navigated both the physical and mental challenges of the examinations for the elevation from captain to the rank of of major. Over 200 captains drawn from different formations and units across the country participated in the promotion exercise. The mutating nature of these threats 
but we must finish addressing the participants. Commander Training and Doctrine Command Nigerian Army Major General Calvin Aligbe said the exercise has changed their perspective in tackling insecurity in the country. According to him, the officers are now well equipped with the required skills and knowledge to promote peace in the country and elsewhere across the globe. He stated that the Nigerian army will not rest on its laurels in the fight against insecurity. We still have the challenges of insecurity manifesting in various forms. But you have done a good job responding in the mutating nature of these threats. But we must finish this fight so that we can return to the barracks and face some other things. Even while we are thinking of returning to the barracks to face some other things, please be prepared at very short notice or no notice. The representative of the general officer commanding two divisions expressed optimism that the participants have been well trained. In the period, I know that the examiner has been concluded. However, the result is yet to be announced. But I want to, on this lighter note, all the participants candidates to put down their minds and put their minds at rest that everything will be well. The officers left the event recharged and ready for the next steps in their careers. Ayodeji Moradeyo, TVC News, Akure.